Welcome to our modeling and forecasting video tutorial. Prognos Platform's modeling and forecasting tool is capable of performing complex modeling tasks using a wide range of econometric balancing and optimization methods. This instrument supports scenario forecasting, which can be used to predict consequences of managerial decisions and define efficient control values for economic systems with regard to defined limitations. Let's consider the modeling and forecasting capabilities available in the Prognos web application. The modeling and forecasting tool provides a quick and easy way to build models with a visual user interface. The workspace in the central part of the screen contains modeling variables and indicates relations between them. The workspace also contains a minimap that reflects the component layout. The minimap can be rearranged or turned off using the corresponding toolbar button. Independent variables are displayed on the workspace as light gray rectangles, while the simulated variables are blue. You can customize the variable's frequency using the frequency button on the toolbar. The frequency can be indicated by one digit or by its full name. The frequency indication is hidden by default. Let's show the full frequency name. The left part of the window contains a toolbar to customize the equation parameters. The bottom part of the window reflects a result bar. You can visualize the source series, model series, forecasts, and their confidence limits with the help of the lines tab. The tab reflects the source data of modeling variables, as well as the modeling scenario data. You can hide all of the table's empty cells or only the ones at the beginning and end of the table. The results bar also contains tabs describing the model properties, including the correlation matrix, the summary statistics, and the equation specification. To view the main characteristics of the series, go to the descriptive statistics and diagnostic test tabs. Arrows show connections between the factor variables and the simulated variables. If you select a simulated variable, the property bar allows you to set the name, define the calculation periods, equation type, and modeling variable transformation, and deal with missing data. You can visualize the simulated variable as a chart in the workspace. During the model calculation, the forecast is reflected on the chart. Let's create a new model in the modeling container of the time series database. A modeling container provides all the necessary data structures to store data about the models and the variables. A model can only exist inside the modeling container. The modeling variables are usually time series from one or several time series databases. Let's use the growth rates of U.S. national accounts to build a model. Using the navigation bar, define the structure of the indicator tree and visualize only the series we are interested in. Drag and drop the growth rates of U.S. private consumption to the workspace. With that, a separate variable will be created for every indicator. Let's model private consumption using a two-factor linear regression. You can see that the variable turned blue. The equation type can also be changed via the equation tab of the sidebar. Let's include a constant value and a second-order autoregressive value in the linear regression equation. The result bar visualizes the source series and the forecasted series. Here you can assess the quality of obtained models. The modeling and forecasting tool supports scenario modeling. A scenario is a possible source of events represented as a series of predicted factor values. To switch to the scenario modeling mode, select Tools, Scenario Modeling. To add and use new scenarios, click the Scenarios Control button. A dialog that allows you to add, rename, delete, and copy scenarios opens. In our case, optimistic and pessimistic scenarios have already been added to the modeling container. Let's add a neutral scenario. Add the existing scenarios to the model. The optimistic scenario assumes an increase in factor values, while the pessimistic one provides for the factor's decrease. When creating a new scenario, you can input the factor values in the table tab of the result bar. Time series data under the added scenarios is already included in the time series database. This is why the chart and the table reflect the data on the explaining variables with regard to scenarios. The modeling variable is forecasted based on scenario data. Use the table to input independent variables for the neutral scenario. The chart can also be used to edit the variable and scenario data by dragging the points in the graph. Let's change the independent variables of the new scenario. Save the scenario changes. Change the scenario data for the second variable. Let us enclose the obtained part of the model inside a block named Consumption. Similarly, add other variables, such as the export and import of goods and services and gross capital formation to the model. Let's now use the workspace variables to model GDP growth. To do so, 
Add relations between the variables. For your convenience, you can visualize the dynamics of modeling indicators in the form of separate charts in the workspace. Let's calculate the model. The calculation results are displayed in the chart in real time as they are being calculated. As you can see, the chart reflects the source and forecast series. If you need to calculate a chain of circular variables, use the calculation order button to define the calculation order. The chart on the result bar provides a detailed visualization of the calculated model, including the model series and confidence limits of the forecast. According to the chart, the model series closely corresponds to the initial series. Based on the correlation matrix, we can conclude that most analyzed factors show strong dependence from the simulated variable. However, the multicollinearity of factors is present. The Summary Statistics tab provides the model characteristics for assessing the adequacy and the quality of the model. For example, a high determination factor indicates a high quality model, as does the Durbin Watson coefficient, which shows that the residual autocorrelation is insignificant. To view the obtained model equation, go to the Specification tab. It also contains a list of the model factors with the coefficients. We have considered the modeling variables as elements related to time series databases. However, these variables can also be independent and contain user data. When creating a new variable, you can define its frequency. We can pick a yearly, monthly, or quarterly frequency. Let's use the yearly frequency. Let's input the data on U.S. export growth and include it in the name of the variable. Let's use a simple model to demonstrate how to work with user data and to perform model assessment using the chart. Save the model for future use. The Prognos Platform Windows application also provides access to the modeling and forecasting methods. The web application provides a simplified interface and functionality, while the desktop modeling and forecasting tool is designed for analysts and provides wider capabilities. Let's use the desktop application to open a model created in the web client. The Objects bar of the container provides a list of objects available in the modeling container. The model created in the web application is shown as a modeling problem. The description bar contains a detailed description of the object's properties. The modeling scenarios bar shows the list of scenarios. Let's consider in detail the properties of modeling task. In the top, you see the task description and type. A tab with forecasting and identification periods and a list of scenarios are below it. The variable reports tab provides you with the source data of the task and calculation results. The variable data is visualized as an editable OLAP report. The modeling task contains a calculation chain that enables you to define sequence of model calculation. This chain contains several models. Let's consider one of them. Model description is available in several tabs. You can define the source and the simulated variables and the model type in the parameters tab. The modeling and forecasting tool supports over 30 different model types. The specification tab provides the model factor and the model equation settings. Other tabs show the modeling results, the descriptions of statistical parameters, and the correlation matrices. In addition, the modeling and forecasting tool provides methods to analyze the quality of the obtained model, including the principal components method to deal with multicollinearity of the model factors, the most widespread troubleshooting tests, and the descriptive statistics menu item, which allows you to analyze the different aspects of a variable. The obtained results can be used for planning and managerial decision making. This was a short overview of the main econometric modeling tools. Prognos Platform also contains a selection of data mining tools. The data mining tool is available in the regular report designer for the data in the report sheets. It can also be used to perform data analysis on the relational data sources. Let's study the functionality using a sample regular report. The sample report contains data about the sales of goods in different branches of a certain company. Let's use it to study the analytical tool's capabilities. The Key Factor button allows you to study the dependencies of the analyzed variable on each of the selected factors. Let's see what factors influence the sales of goods. Select the Sold column as a column for Key Factor Analysis and the Month, Unit, Quality, and Commodity columns as the key factors. You can see the list of possible factor values and their impact on the possible variable values. Sort the table by the factors to see the impact of each factor. You can notice that the commodities and branch factors influence sales, as the different goods and the different branches show a varying successful sales ratio. For example, less than 20% of fur coats have been sold. However, the shirts are all sold out. 
The other two factors, month and quality, have little impact on the sales, as the successful sales ratio is almost the same for all fat possible factor values. The sales ratio is around 29% for all of the report's months. You can save the analysis results in the current report, in a new report, or in a Microsoft Excel file. Let's insert the results to a new report sheet. The forecasting methods allow you to easily make forecasts based on the available data sets. The second report sheet contains data on the gross domestic product of three countries. Let's use the gray forecast model to predict the GDP for 10 years in advance. Save the obtained chart and the table and proceed to the next tool. The pattern substitution methods allow you to fill in the empty cells depending on the other values in the same line. When an empty cell is found, the system defines its most probable value depending on the other values in the same line. For example, there are several empty cells in the sold column of the table. Let's fill them in using the decision trees method. We have previously found that branches and commodities are the key factors that impact product sales. Flag them as the factors to be used for analysis. The result is shown in table form. You can also view the rules of the decision tree used to fill in the gaps. Proctus platform provides more data mining methods, for example, detection categories, exception search, and association analysis. In this tutorial, we have studied the Prognos Platform Modeling and Forecasting Tool. The results obtained with this tool can be used to create reports. Our Modeling and Forecasting video tutorial is over. Thank you for your attention.